Now then my friends, <laughs> good morning and welcome to another episode from Blackpool. And I'll tell you why, because last night I didn't finish uh, filming until late. I thought I'm really, really tired. I really can't drive and I'm not fit for driving uh, after all the fish and chips that I ate and the tram journey that I did. And I thought, you know what, I'll stay over. So I grabbed myself a hotel and I thought I can have breakfast in Blackpool. Now, when you come to Blackpool, you obviously want a full English breakfast in the morning to set you up for the day. Set you up for the day, as they say in Yorkshire. And I thought to myself, where's the best place to go? Well, I asked Paul, the councillor yesterday, and he told me a little secret. Blackpool's best kept secret my friends that's right i said where's the best place to go he said well i always go to a place and then he stopped and he said hang in a minute i don't know whether i should tell you because then everybody's going to go there uh, and it's the place that i always go to to get out of the way and you can even choose your own sausage apparently you can have lincolnshire or a pork sausage rather than one of them terrible terrible catering sausages it's a place called the right bite and it's in the back streets of blackpool but it's where everybody goes if you live in Blackpool, it's a great price. In fact, it's an excellent price, excellent service and amazing food. So that's where we're gonna to go today. And I've, as I've said before, councillors normally have, if you're watching by the way, councillors normally have corned beef sandwiches with no mayonnaise and an apple uh, packed by the wife, but not this guy, because we've already given him his hashtag from the last video. It's the renegade councillor. So there we go. Uh, and he's recommended it. So that's where we're off today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Oh, and we're meeting somebody along the way, by the way. We're meeting Stephen from Walk on the Wild Side. So we've even got a special guest today. So without further ado, my friends, let's go. himself <laughs> it's Stephen from a walk on the All wild right. side uh, yeah now today we're off for a bent sausage uh, <laughs> that sounds interesting. it does sound interesting doesn't it yeah, at least yeah. we're laughing we're on the comedy carpet well yeah yeah comedy in fact carpet, yeah. eventually I want my name on here and I want it to say we're off for a bent sausage <laughs> we're, we're off to a place today I've uh, already explained that um, renegade councillor Paul uh, has uh, recommended to us and he said it's one of the best places, well he said it's the best place in Blackpool to go and you get a choice of sausage as well, Lincolnshire or pork sausage or whatever. So we're off there today, it's a secret so don't tell anybody, is that going to be kept a it, secret? It now? is, it's hidden around the back somewhere this, this place so not many people know about it. Yeah, so, yeah, so don't tell anybody, <laughs> shh, keep it a secret. We're going to mark it out of 10, we want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Now if you don't know who this guy is and you love Blackpool, then you don't love Blackpool. So make sure you subscribe to him. His, his channel will be on the end. Uh, and uh, you do a lot about Blackpool, don't you? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. A little um, bit. I, I like to walk around and talk about history and, and that sort of thing. And um, my, my bit, I show all sides of Blackpool as well. I don't just show the good bits. I show some of the not so good bits, but I think I show it in overall, it shows it Blackpool as it is. And, um, you know, lots of people like to come to Blackpool and it's got so much history, hasn't it? And it no matter what I show, even even some of the, the you know some of the dodgy bits, like, it doesn't put people off. People just love Blackpool because it's just got so much work for it. You've got to say the words for me. It's it, it's go on, say it for me. You know my favourite. Beer monsters. No, no, the other one. <laughs> it's, it's getting a bit lively. Oh yeah, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Yeah, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Whenever I hear it, you know, whenever I start a video, sometimes I. Uh, I tend to set off the alarm, you know, the, you <laughs> tend to get like sirens going off and I think, oh my God, you know, it's like, they it, it, it follow me around, I think, you know, trouble follows me around. 
<laughs> well, hopefully not today, because we just want a we just want a bent sausage uh, and a little bit of peace and quiet and a cup of tea. Quickly, by the way, see your coffee with the uh, with the breakfast. Um, well, to be honest, I normally have a coffee in the morning. Any other time of day, I'll usually have a tea. But yeah, so for breakfast, yeah, I'd have a coffee. You'd have coffee for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Just a I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> not just a coffee. Coffee and a bent sausage. I'm gonna go for a tea today. Hopefully, it's Yorkshire. So come on. Onwards, my friends. Oh, right, I tell you what, I am I'm working up an appetite. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Well, what a small world. It's, it's a convention. It's <laughs> Jane from Visit File Coast. Visit File Coast. You know, I nearly said filled. Build yeah, coast, yeah, it's filed coast, isn't it? Where have you been this morning? Where tell us, give us a heads up what you've been doing. Well, Let me put this down here. Tell us where you've been. Tell us where you've been. I really don't like heights. They make me want to jump, but I've been up there. No, you've been right. tower. I've been at the top of the tower. What have you been up for? I've been to see the king. The king? Yeah. Let me come around this way. Yeah. You've been to see the king. What, King Charles? Come back in. Tell us what. What the real King Charles? The real King Charles. Yeah. At the top of yeah, the tower. At the top of the tower. He, what's yeah. he doing up there? Yeah. Private viewing. What, what king? He's got clothes on. <laughs> something off. <laughs> <laughs> was he eating a full English breakfast? That's the thing. No, but it, but it was it was quite motion, wasn't it? He didn't have a lot to say for himself. So I'm guessing a waxwork figure. Correct. Excellent. Correct. Well, very, very good. Well, we're off for a full English breakfast this morning. Come in, Stephen, because yeah. I've, I've zoomed in a little bit. So we're off this morning to a secret. It's it's a very, it's like a wet, like, what is it, what do you call it? Yeah. Blackpool's best kept secret. Well, they call it Blackpool's best kept secret and it's hidden away down a back street, so uh, not many people are going to know about it. Do you know about it? It's called, I can't remember the name of it, it's that secret, I can't remember I the name. it's called Right Bike, is it? Right the Bike. Right bike. Right no. bike. The Right Bike. The Right Bike. Well, we met a councillor yesterday. Now, normally, councillors eat corned beef sandwiches, no mayonnaise, apple <laughs> packed by the wife, and they wear brown suits. This councillor, no, so he's the rogue councillor, that's his nickname. Right, okay. And he told us about it. He says, but please don't tell anyone. So you can't tell anyone. Got to keep it a secret. We're going to mark it out of ten. So, so watch that one. Make sure, well, make sure I you watch that definitely one. Watch and then that maybe one. you need to visit yeah. on one of your videos. Let's see what I think. I'll put a link with Stevens on the end there. These, I'm bumping into all vloggers this see, morning. See, you see, capital of the world. Can you say, onwards, my friends. Onwards, my friends. Oh, hang on a minute, Stephen. What? Come back a minute. Ooh. Oh, what? Now then, you're both from Blackpool. Yeah. I'm going to ask that question that every child in the back of the car asks. Where's the tower? No, are we nearly there yet? Oh, right. <laughs> the tower's over there, but you can't see it. Tower's over there, but I'm, I'm, I need my breakfast. I've got no idea where we're going, so I'm just following you. Right, well, oh, I think we might have to use Google Maps. I, th I think we're heading roughly the right direction. Uh, I think we might get there by the afternoon. Brilliant, but remember, nobody, nobody can say where this place is, right? It's a secret. It's Blackpool's biggest kept secret. And they've not even told me where we're going. So. I don't even know. It's that much of a secret. I've no idea. <laughs> the renegade councillor told me about it and he's probably watching. <laughs> Come on, onwards. <laughs> right, it, it's actually, um, it's it's down the back. Are you sure we're... Are we going to be safe around here? Uh, <laughs> I, I, can, do you two, do you two want to go ahead first? It's a VWP office block, so there'll be plenty of civil servants shortly. I know, but have you seen this? Are you sure we're going to be all right? Are we going to be okay here? Oh, well, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. It doesn't look the nicest of streets, but I'm reserving judgment. Right, here we are, Blackpool's best kept secret, as uh, revealed to me by the renegade councillor. 
Here we go, let's get in there. Full English breakfast, mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price. Let's get in there. And remember, shh, keep this a secret. We don't want everybody in there. <laughs> Right, my friends, here we are inside Blackpool's best kept secret. Remember, keep this a secret. Can you keep it a secret? <laughs> Can you keep it a secret, Stephen? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> the right bite. Right, before we go any further, because I'm going to order the, uh, the full English, there is actually a Scottish breakfast here as well. So you can have a Scottish breakfast if you want. Uh, the only thing with Scottish breakfast is when you mention the word Scotland. Ah! Did you hear that? The bagpipes? Oh, well, my husband's Scottish. Oh. Uh, by birth. Oh! I, the bag, I can't I handle the bagpipes. I can't handle the bagpipes. So I'll probably just go, well, while I'm choosing and perusing the menu, have a look yourself, my friends. Right, my friends, so uh, we have ordered have ordered two breakfasts. Uh, you're not having a breakfast, though, are you? No. Are you, uh, are you training for the Blackpool I'm on, Marathon? I'm on a starvation diet. You're on a starvation diet. Well, you can share some of mine. Um, and it is right, because the road councillor told me you can choose your own sausage. Uh, and Stephen has gone for the Lincolnshire sausage. I've gone for the pork sausage. So we're going to be able to see the difference in sausages as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Got you a plate though, so you know. Just a plate. Uh, yeah, you, you've, got, you've just got you a plate, an empty plate that you can hold. No, you can have some of mine. I'm, what, try, I'm trying to. I'm training for the Mansfield Marathon. <laughs> I'm not actually, because I think there is one. I'm training, I'm training for Slimming World. <laughs> the training for Slimming World. Hey, they do fresh milkshakes in here as well. I tell you what, just keep this a secret, my friends. I'm looking forward to this. By the way, right, okay, let's go through price first. So it came to a total of £23, that's for the teas. I've got a builder's mug of tea here. Got an empty plate for you, because that won't be empty soon, because I'm going to share. Sharing, sharing is caring. Got a builder's mug of tea. I've got, to, I've got to get him to get Yorkshire. I've got to get him to get Yorkshire. You've got to buy some Yorkshire tea. She can't hear me. I'll make sure she hears me before I go. Uh, so there, there's a copy of the receipt, £23. Uh, two extra large breakfasts, one with Lincolnshire uh, and one with a pork sausage. You can also have, got super excited about this one, and I don't like using super excited, uh, but you can have a sausage breakfast. You can have a sausage breakfast. Now, from Mansfield, that means something else. It's well, exactly. a family channel, yeah. let's keep yeah. it clean, all right? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, you can have one square, one Cumberland, one Lincolnshire, one pork, beans, tomatoes, egg, mushrooms, and toast. And obviously you can have a tower breakfast. I'm presuming that means tower because it's the Blackpool Tower. Yeah. yeah, I got that there. See, we're clever in Mansfield. But what do you get in a tower breakfast? In a tower breakfast, you get two bacon, one sausage patty, two eggs, bubbles. Oh, bubble and squeak. I like a bit of bubble. I wish I'd have added the bubble and squeak to it now. Uh, tomatoes, toast and chips. So, uh, so that's really a full meal. Yeah, I wish I'd have actually mixed it up a little bit because I'd have had Cumberland sausage growing up in the Lake District. I've had a bit of bubble and squeak, um, but so you can mix and match. I reckon they'd do that for you here. But anyway, we've gone for the large and we're going to mark this out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well, but also keep it a secret. Right, my friends, so here's the breakfast. You're going to share some of this with me. So will you uh, share this out? Take a closer look, my friends.
Right, so there you go. Um, Jane's obviously not got much of an appetite because we've just yeah, got actually, a li little bit of a sausage on there. Um, going to go for the brown sauce. I mean, these packets, though, drive me crazy. I can never undo them. I can't get... I'll open the packet of sauce in a minute. It drives it. Can you ever get these open? I can't get the things open. It do not Yes, please. I'm, u I'm absolutely useless. I'm absolutely useless, useless with them packets. So... We've got black pudding on here. We've got beans. We've got oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we've got bre we've got fried bread on there as well. I tell you what, though, I wish I'd have had the bubble and squeak. Bit of bubble. All right, I'm going to pop that on there. Um, so we've got uh, hash brown in here as well. So two hash browns in there. Uh, what's what's that? Is that the fried bread? Is that bread? What's that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Is it? Is it like a, sort like of an eggy thing. Like an eggy, eggy bread, I think that is, or something, isn't it? We've got the black pudding, got the toast. Let's go in for the pork sausage a little bit. Here we go. There's the pork sausage. Now, your Lincolnshire sausage, as you saw there uh, on the B-roll, and just here, look, is a little bit darker, isn't it? It's a bit darker than mine. Here we go. Now, don't forget, we're marking this out of 10. Mine looks a little bit more. I like mine a little bit more, although it has got that end on it, but there we go. I'm going first. Hmm. Okay. Right. Hot. Wow, I'm back. That was really hot. <laughs> Extremely hot. We've got mushrooms under there. We've got tomatoes. Tin tomatoes, uh, which I like. I always like a tin tomato. There we go. Tin tomatoes. We've got the beans. We've got mushrooms. It's not pretentious portobello mushrooms. It's the proper mushrooms that we've got. Also got here the bacon as well. Bacon's very nice. Got some bacon on there as well. Have a little bit of bacon. Uh, I've, I'm sure I saw some fried bread on here. No, that maybe. I think that's like. I'm not sure. What? Excuse, what, excuse me. Where's this eggy bread? Um, one second. Or is that? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, the hash browns, crispy on the outer, and we've got nice yes. fluffy in there as well. Yes. It is eggy bread. There we go. Yeah, I just wondered what that was. Eggy bread. Eggy bread, yeah. Eggy bread. There we go. Got some eggy bread. I'm going to try the eggy bread, actually. Let's have a go. Look at that. There we go. I haven't had eggy bread since I was a kid. Bacon's nice. Got the toast, which is pre-buttered. Going for the beans under here as well. Bean test. There we go. Not too dry. Got the egg there as well, cut into the egg. In fact, have a closer look at the egg. Right, there you go. I got the wrong lens on before. You got a close-up of me, so sorry about that. So uh, probably give it a couple of hours before you have your breakfast or it'll put you off. Um, so um, I'm going to carry on eating this. Really, uh, really nice. Going for the black pudding first. There we go. Bit of black pudding. Never used to like black pudding. Oh, wow. But uh, for me now, I like it. It's If it's good black pudding, it's nice, you know. There we go. Nice bit of black pudding. Um, no. Your other half should like black pudding, being Scottish. My other half eats everything. Eats everything. You know, it's black pudding, bit of haggis. I like it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's good black pudding. Right, I'll come back to you. We'll mark it out of 10. And we'll see you guys in a minute. Mm. Win a medal. <laughs> Crikey, you finished already? I hoovered it down. Hoovered it down. I still haven't. God, I'm not even halfway through it yet.
Right, there we go, my friends. I tell you what, that has set me up for the day. Or, as you say uh, in Yorkshire, set me up for the day. Set me up for the day. Set me up for the day, that has. <laughs> so, uh, Stephen finished about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Took me a little bit longer. Anyway, going to drink my tea and then we're all going to mark it out of 10 outside. Because you had a little bit of sausage and a little bit of bacon. Um, so there we go. I think I chose right with the sausage, although I'd have been interested to see the Cumberland sausage and go for the... Yeah, the, yeah, the, Cumberland, the Cumberland sausage um, I'd have liked to have seen. But maybe come back, or maybe come back, or you come back and have the sausage breakfast. Anyway, we'll see you guys outside in a minute. Right, my friends. Okay, so it's a vlogger's out in this, isn't it? Hey, God, cool, blimey! Right, I tell you what, I'm going to get down to business. I'm not, I'm not the eggy bread. I was, I was, I was a little because I thought it was fried bread. So I thought, oh, fried bread. I thought it was like an omelette. But yeah, but then it was eggy bread. Um, but you can build your own breakfast in there. I would build my own breakfast if I did it again. I'd have, um, I'd have the um, bubble and squeak. Yeah, I'd have the bubble and squeak. Um, so your sausage looks a bit burnt, to be honest, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little bit overdone, but it tasted really nice. It yeah. did yeah. taste yeah. nice, and the bacon sausage. tasted nice. You said yeah, that. bacon. Yeah, so I reckon I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for an eight. For an eight. Eight. An eight is good. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. An eight? Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you going to go for? Don't, well, don't let me... I know that you are a professional at this sort of thing and your score probably counts more than mine but I think that, I think it was absolutely awesome breakfast. There was so much to it. I didn't even know where to start, honestly. And the bacon was probably the best bacon I've ever had really, yeah, really. for a long time. So, despite the burnt sausages, I think I'm going to give it a 9.5. There you go. Your score out of what you saw? Well, I, I had a tiny little bit of it and a tiny little bit of sausage, but they were both very, very nice, so I'd give it a nine. Give it a nine? There you go. Blackpool's best kept secret for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Uh, no longer, but keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Uh, so there you go. Make sure you subscribe to these two guys' channel here because I will put the link on the end. Because if you like Blackpool, you'll you'll already know these these two. And somebody else walked by as well, didn't they? It's like everybody's vloggers are all out today. Was it Colin? Yeah, Colin. Colin, Colin. walked by the window as well. So we've got all the Blackpool vloggers out today. There we go. Well, I'm off now. Thank you for watching. I'll put the, the link for these two guys' channel on the end. Make sure you subscribe to me as well. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. You better get to the car park, haven't you? Oh, no. Otherwise, you're going to get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> sure, in Blackpool Council, if you're watching, in fact, I'm sure uh, the Renegade Council will, will be watching. You should give these two free parking, really, yes, shouldn't you? Well, free passes, yeah. yeah free parking passes, yeah, yeah. For life. There we go. We should start a petition. Start <laughs> a petition, that's it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.